Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for November 11th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had an inflationary reading that did show that our inflation is higher than we have seen in 30 years. And boy, we really had a slow, lethargic reaction by the bears yesterday, but eventually they picked up and pushed us down a little bit. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. Hey, before we get started, I just want to um, do a big shout out to all of those veterans out there on Veterans Day that have served our country. I truly, truly thank you and appreciate it. I served in the Army. I understand the commitment that that um, required um, of those folks to serve. And we also want to remember that although we all gave a little bit, some folks gave all. And let's remember that today on Veterans Day. Um, shake the hand of a veteran. Thank them for their service to this country. I, I know for one, truly appreciate um, that service. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Diamonds had a little bit, boy, it was slow starting. As a matter of fact, we tried first thing in the morning to push up as if inflation didn't matter at all, which was kind of remarkable to me. And um, eventually those bears kind of took over, pushing back down here just a little bit. But let's take note, we didn't even come back, we didn't make it back in here to a support level. So we're kind of hanging out here in mid air. Notice we did drop through this um, area right in here where we filled this gap. This morning we're gonna be trying to push back up into that. Let's watch that closely, how, um, how we respond today. Now please keep in mind guys that on Veterans Day, um, all um, federal uh, government offices, local government offices will all be closed. Um, banks will be closed. By and large, there may be some, of course, some individual businesses that um, buck the system on that. But just kind of keep in mind that by and large, we could see a light and choppy day as a result. Now, keep in mind that if we do get some bullish price action in here, it'll be interesting to see whether or not we can push back above this bearish candle of yesterday. If so, we may just grab a hold right in here and just take right off and continue to the upside. Also keep in mind though, if those bears were to push back, we certainly have that opportunity that we could push down into here. And once again, if that level doesn't hold, watch this area right in here. And if that were to occur, guys, I just wanna point this out. We still, we still are um, very elevated above our 50 day moving average. We are still stretched out, even if we were to pull back and hold this level of price support in the chart. So pretty remarkable ele elevation in this market. But yesterday we saw with Rivian, um, just the, the speculative nature of this market and how speculative it is. Rivian has yet to produce 10,000 vehicles. They expect next quarter to lose over $1.2 billion, have revenue of somewhere around a million dollars. And yet we priced that stock yesterday higher than Ford and General Motors. I gotta tell you, that is one of those markers, and I wrote this in the blog this morning, it is very reminiscent of 1999, when we were pricing stocks that have never, ever made any money at ridiculous levels, and boy, this seems very reminiscent of that time. So I think we're pushing a bubble 
uh, blowing a bubble um, in this market right now. And we should be very, very careful um, as we continue to see this wild speculation in chart in stocks. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Let's take a quick look at this. We pulled back. Notice we're kind of floating here in midair. There is no price support here, but we're getting a big push in the NASDAQ this morning. That's helping out the um, SPY trying to push back up. So watch that closely. If we can, um, you know, if we can hold this level in here, then um, we may just maintain and continue to push on through to the upside as if nothing is wrong um, here in the market. Also keep in mind that we do have that potential. The only real price support in this chart is all the way down here and maybe a little teeny tiny bit right in here. So if those bears were to re-engage, if they're not able to push back through, um, this chart, then watch carefully for that chance that we could push down into those support levels. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's getting the biggest push this morning, really trying to recover a bunch, but we have a pretty ugly chart here. Notice we have um, an area here that could serve as a little bit of a price resistance as we push back up. And also keep in mind, there is no price support under this this level here so we're trying to make something up and we've got the nasdaq kind of floating here in mid air i think the next price support the really only price support in this chart is all the way down here so if we can't push through this up here watch for a little bit more selling um, to maybe come into play of course we could always retest these lows of yesterday if we retested these lows create that little double bottom um, action in there and bounce off of that as well. So just keep a close eye on it. IWM, IWM had a pretty substantial pullback yesterday, trying to bounce also this morning. And remember, we have a year's worth of price support underneath this level. So what's going to be interesting, and I do think we're going to come back and test this, whether we bounce today or not, I do think we'll come back here and test this. And that'll be that'll be the clue as to whether or not we're going, going to hold. If we can test and bounce off of that level, show buyers stepping in there. And it may require a little bit of rest as well to kind of connect with that trend because we are incredibly extended in the short term moves. Um, in our indexes. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a rally yesterday, but I gotta tell you, I was a little bit surprised that the selling yesterday was so controlled and um, there for a while in the, uh, in the early morning hours, we were trying to ignore um, inflation altogether. So keep a close eye on this. We did break through some resistance in this chart, but at the end of the day, we saw those bulls trying to surge back in. It seems like any selling just brings out um, tremendous speculation and buying. We buy, 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 buy. So watch that carefully here in um, the charts. We have broken this downtrend and now what's going to be um, something that we'll want to watch is will we hold a higher low here in the VIX, whether we hold this support area in here, if we pull back and hold off of this trend, that'll be um, an interesting thing to be keeping an eye on here in the VIX. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 has been extremely elevated and we did pull back toward that mid range here in T2122. So what does that mean? Well, that means we've opened up an opportunity if those bulls can find enough energy to move us up we have that opportunity to move back up into this area. But we also have that kind of an equal potential if those bears were to find some um, reason for energy that we could push down into this area of the chart. So watch that closely. T2122 has been elevated here for a long time and um, those bears haven't eaten for a while, so we'll want to watch that pretty closely in case, just in case those bears decide to re-engage here just a little bit. Not saying that they will, just watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 pulled back a little bit yesterday. 
which again was a little bit surprising to me and how controlled those uh, the selling was yesterday because typically you would see um, on a sell wave in the market you would actually see t2101 spike to the upside it didn't do that yesterday we had enough buying in the market yesterday um, to hold that kind of in place so we're still winding out in this wedging pattern that continues to tighten and tighten and tighten and I think continues to display just how much of a bubble we are um, blowing here in the market. So watch that closely if we do happen to spike out of here and hold. That's where some, some selling could really come into play. Then let's take a look at our T2107. T20, whoops. T2107. If we take a look at that, we did pull back yesterday, but the good news here for the uh, bulls is that we did hold on to some price support. We didn't break this down. We did slip back below 50%, a little bit, um, you know, uh, only 48% of the companies above the 200 day moving average. But holding above this support level and holding above this trend is still bullish. I think for these stocks below that 200 day moving average that they could bounce right back. Let's watch that closely however. If those bears were to engage and kick this kick this off, if we start busting down in these stocks below that level, that could serve as kind of a big boat anchor pulling heavily um, on the market. So watch that closely if that were to occur. However, if we can bounce off of that price support and see those buyers stepping back in, holding into that trend, um, that may also signal more upside in the market. Let's take a look at that T2108. I keep bringing this up because I do think this is significant, guys. We did get a little bit of a pullback in T2108, but what's more important to me is that we set new record highs, and yet we're having fewer and fewer stocks holding above the 40-day moving average. Now, I know the 40-day moving average isn't anything too many people pay attention to, but that's how the index or the indicator is set up. But that does signal that we are very, very stretched out in just select names. And we should watch that closely if those select names do start to fail. So we'll want to watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And, <laughs> you know, we don't have anything. Our economic calendar, we're closed today for Veterans Day and all the government offices. So nothing going on here today to inspire the market. We will want to pay attention, though, as we move into Friday, we're going to have consumer sentiment. We're going to have the job openings report. Now, sentiment has been extremely low. And we'll want to watch that closely. If sentiment continues to get weaker and weaker, um, that could be a problem. And why could it get weaker? Inflation is pulling back or, or forcing um, forcing those uh, consumers to restrict their um, activity because their disposable income is drying up. And one of the things we are seeing is um, consumer debt hitting record highs. So watch that closely. That could be interesting on Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar has a busy, we are busy day today. We have uh, quite a few companies listed on the calendar. But what's interesting about that, about 160 companies listing on the calendar, but we have a whole bunch of those that are unconfirmed small caps. And the other thing is we don't really have um, big market moving stocks today um, reporting. However, there are some notables. Take a look, um, MARA will be reporting today. This has been a market favorite here recently, pushing up, breaking through resistance levels, holding up in here. We'll wanna watch this on its report. We're gonna hear from MT. Um, steel has, well, steel has struggled here just a little bit, um, but perking up here on the day. So keep an eye on MT. That could help other steel sector stocks as well. Um, FLO will be on here. Uh, Flower Foods um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Packaged Foods have been holding up very, very strong. Um, obviously because of inflation those prices continue to rise so watch that carefully here um, we're going to have um, um, LAZR reporting 
we're going to hear from um, Wix and we're going to hear from Yeti. So keep a close eye on these charts as we work through the morning reports here today. Let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up before the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. And also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you feel that this these videos are worthy, please click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. Um, that helps the channel to continue to grow. I have to apologize yesterday. I got wrapped up in some phone calls um, um, yesterday and I didn't get a chance to um, to um, answer those comments yesterday. I did look at them all. Thank you so much everyone for, for leaving those. I will be back on top of that today answering those comments. So thank you so much. I also want to thank everyone who continues to support the channel with buy me a coffee link. You guys are truly awesome and I really, really appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at, um, well here, before we do that, I wanted to uh, make a quick mention that we're approaching um, 25,000 subscribers and what I've what I I'm a wood carver and what I'm going to be doing is um, you can choose whether you want a tree with lights or a tree without lights you could also choose one of the other um, things in except this one this one this one belongs to my wife she she'd uh, shoot me if I gave that away but um, kind of keep an eye uh, out once we hit 25,000 um, I'll put together some kind of a special event and we'll do a drawing and give away one of these for reaching 25,000. So thank you so much, everyone. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks um, setting up and please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence in these charts and be very, very focused on the risk of these charts because so many stocks are very, very extended in the market. One of them that was popping up yesterday that I've been keeping an eye on is General Motors. General Motors made a nice little popping move. It tried to break out and then pulled back by the end of the day. But let's watch this area right in here. If we can actually push on through and hold here in General Motors might be interesting chart to watch. Now it could have a little bit more time to rest in here before it can push on through, but General Motors perking up. Keep a close eye on that. Um, Ford also um, pulled back yesterday um, with everything else in the market, but I gotta tell you, there is some reason to be watching this. This is holding on to this trend, and Ford owns a big stake in Rivian. So <laughs> Rivian pricing out the way it did yesterday, um, <laughs> truly remarkable. But let's keep an eye on Ford. Um, resting pullback in here could set up an opportunity in that chart. Take a look at Valero Energy. Valero, I actually placed a price alert on Valero and that was before we had this pullback um, at the end of the day or during the afternoon. But I'm watching this chart for Valero to see if this can hold this um, level in here. Refining is obviously going to be doing pretty well. Um, certainly the cost, their input costs of that oil to refine it are going up dramatically, but I think that the, the demand um, is remaining relatively high. So watch that close in here um, uh, for that opportunity. That might pop out and move on through to the upside. I think it's worth keeping a pretty close eye on. I would be really remiss if I didn't mention um, silver and gold oh my goodness yesterday silver and gold spiking we had quite a move up here breaking through resistance and though we pulled back notice we're seeing just a little bit of a pop in energy here this morning um, obviously bonds went substantially higher yesterday on that um, on that increase in inflation and we're finally starting to see silver and gold um, react like we would kind of expect them to react. Now what's going to be critical here in silver is whether or not it holds this neckline. Notice we have 
this inverted head and shoulders pattern. And it's going to be critical. Breaking the neckline is one thing. Now proving you can hold it, that's another. And if we can prove to hold that neckline and see buyers stepping up in here, there may be some nice opportunity coming along here in silver. So keep an eye on that. And then gold just had a huge move yesterday popping hard and breaking through this resistance once again breaking through resistance is wonderful but it has to prove it can hold that as support so either in a consolidation or in a resting pullback in here to hold that support that's going to be critical here in these charts i think you could also take a look at some copper um, FCX, FCX pulled back pretty hard yesterday with um, the rest of the market, but with the passage of the infrastructure bill and um, things like that, all the infrastructure building that we're supposed to be doing in, in, in the bill, we're continue to, continuing to hold on to this price support in the chart, but we're still locked in below this resistance level. So I would keep a close eye on this as we move out here toward this trend, that possibility that we could pop on through and get going there in, um, in copper might be, uh, well, just might be interesting. And I would wanna keep a pretty close eye on that for that possibility of that upside move. Then let's take a look at some other sectors here in the charts. We had a pretty interesting move here yesterday in Mondelez. Some of these consumer defensives started to pick up a little bit yesterday, and that might be just that little bit of fear coming into the market that we've extended a little bit too far in some of these other areas. Starting to see some of these consumer defensives picking up. So take a look at Mondelez breaking through resistance levels here in the chart. We backed up and we held on to that trend and yesterday was pretty volatile. We pushed through early in the morning then pushed back to test support and then rallied back up at the end of the day. But let's watch that closely in here. Good dividend payer perking up might be worth keeping an eye on. You can also see that same kind of price action in uh, PepsiCo yesterday. PepsiCo had a little bit of volatility in there, but we're holding on to this trend. And remember, PepsiCo here recently made a major breakout here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. There may be that opportunity that PepsiCo could be starting to pick up if we have that little bit of fear coming into the market. That might be interesting, and we could see that potentially move on higher. Let's take a look at Coke. Coke is also in that same sector, and it broke through some resistance up here, as you can see, and trying to hold up pretty well. So if you take a look in here, holding this resistance level, or support level, with this test right in here and trying to perk back up, we may eventually break through some of these resistance levels in the chart, so watch those closely. Also saw some pretty interesting moves yesterday in, um, casinos. We started moving up yesterday. As you notice, I have an alert here on that chart when this was popping out over here. But we popped through and we're not holding. We're pushing back into this um, trend in the chart. Um, yesterday's selling kind of grabbed a hold of all of these after trying to push up early in the day. So watch this in here. I still think there is that chance. These could push on out here. Um, also take a look at when. Wynn had a good earnings report yesterday, popped up, gave it up at the end of the day. Um, so we're still holding on to this trend. If we got get past that volatility that may have been created by inflation, that may perk back up and come back around. So watch that carefully and closely uh, for today. So there's a few stocks for you to look at. There certainly are a lot of stocks out there that have potential. We've talked about you know, quite a few of those FedEx. We've talked about um, Harley Davidson. That that got hit pretty hard yesterday. Um, this Fubo got absolutely clubbed yesterday. But there are those stocks out there like Cisco um, that continued to hold up quite well. It tried to push through, but got caught up in the selling yesterday a little bit, pulling back. But we still have quite a few really good charts in that setup pattern. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all great success in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Once again.
happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans out there that served this wonderful country. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome day.